Just a short walk away from Nesabar's old town is the start of Sunny Beach. Now, Sunny Beach is Bulgaria's number one resort on the coast of the Black Sea. During normal times, thousands of people from all over Europe will flock here to experience the beaches, the sea, the glorious weather. Perhaps not Bulgarian's culture. It has been described by British travellers as the Benidorm of Bulgaria. You're more likely to find chips and egg than any Bulgarian restaurants. It's not particularly a place that I was interested in visiting, but I did decide that I would spend at least a couple of days there. However, I arrived in Sunny Beach a couple of days ago to find a ghost town. Literally, no one was there, everything was closed. So I've decided I'm not going to stay in Sunny Beach because it's just not worth it. But I am going to go up and explore. I'm going to walk from Nesabar all the way up the beach to the main resort and see what Sunny Beach is like when it's a ghost town. Well, this looks like a nice spot to spend the holiday. Nice hotel right on the front overlooking the Black Sea. The plan is to walk all the way up Sunny Beach until I get to something called Flower Street. Now Flower Street apparently is the main street in Sunny Beach Resort where all the bars are and restaurants. So the main tourist street basically. There's a McDonald's, there's a Burger King. I've still not eaten anything because nothing is open in Nesaba. And so I'm hoping that there'll be something open on Flower Street. Even if it's some overpriced dodgy restaurant. Apparently on Flower Street there's also a theme park. I'm not expecting it to be open. In fact I have read that it's not been open throughout even last summer. I guess there were a few tourists so it wasn't worth their while. It has strange opening times. It opens at 6 p.m. till 4 in the morning. So I imagine it's uh, a place for families to go and then late on in the evening it's a place where drunken tourists go. But as I said, it's not going to be open. Maybe nothing is going to be open. As you can see, the beach is completely empty. Cacao Beach. A lively spot by all accounts during the summer. Live music, cocktails, dancing. It's very strange to have this whole stretch of beach. I don't know how long it is. It's got to be a couple of kilometres at least. And there's just me on it. The thing which I find really strange is if you go on booking.com there are plenty of places for you to book a room in Sunny Beach. If somebody books a holiday for, you know, decide that for some reason they want to come to Sunny Beach in February and they book a hotel and then they arrive and find that absolutely nothing's open. Do your research before you book anywhere during uh, off season because like me you might find yourself in a place struggling to find even basic things such as beer and wine and food. Well this might prove difficult. How am I supposed to get across here? Oh you're joking. Well my walk up Sunny Beach might have come to an abrupt end. Well, there's only one thing for it. God, this is going to be cold. <laughs> well, now I've got wet, cold, sandy feet, which is going to make my exploration of Sunny Beach a whole lot more fun. I was thinking if I get to Sunny Beach, Flower Street, and everything is closed, the bars, the restaurants are all closed. At least there's McDonald's. 
McDonald's has got to be open. McDonald's is always open. I was looking at the uh, Google Maps last night, and as I'm looking at the options for food places on Flower Street, I noticed that McDonald's had got an average rating of 2.8, which is crazy though. So I looked at some of the reviews, and to be honest, even if it's the only option, I don't know if I want to eat there. Apparently it's double the price of anywhere else in Europe. It's like ridiculously expensive. The staff are incredibly rude and the food is terrible, apparently. You thought that McDonald's is the same everywhere. Apparently not. Apparently in Sunny Beach, the McDonald's food is worse than it normally is. So, who knows? It may be that I'm going to be eating cold, overpriced McDonald's for lunch. Oh, what a beautiful time. The shower gel that I use every morning when I have a shower is by a company called FA. F-A. You see it quite a lot in this part of Europe. And what it does mean is that, annoyingly, every single morning I leave the hotel or hostel, wherever I'm staying, and all I've got in my head is Every day. Taking a risk here. Got away. Starting to get a little bit busy now in terms of hotels and uh, the little theme park there. Bars. So I guess we're coming now into the actual resort of Sunny Beach. I can actually see people over there. Wow. Maybe it's not going to be as quiet after all. I can see at least, ooh, I'd say three people. This is the Sentido Neptune Beach Hotel, which overlooks the sea. I've just had a look online to see if I could book a room in there tonight or tomorrow. Now, on the booking site, it says it's sold out. Which basically means it's closed for the season. I guess a big place like this, because it will offer, there'll be a restaurant, maybe a breakfast and a bar and stuff like that. So it needs a lot of staff to keep it running. When there's not many people there, it's not worth opening. Whereas the one I'm in, I'm basically, I get a room. There are no other uh, facilities at all. So they can probably, uh, you know, stay open for one person because it doesn't uh, cost them anything in terms of staff or maintenance. I think this pier here runs up to Flower Street. I think we've reached our destination. And as you can see, there's maybe about a dozen people around. So maybe we'll find a few things open got as high up as I'm gonna go as you can see the beach does go on all the way around to this uh, other city over here which name I keep forgetting um, but this is Sunny Beach Resort to my left and this is Flower Street which goes straight off this pier so that's where I'm gonna head hopefully find some breakfast or lunch or <laughs> anything anything will do let's check out Flower Street then Nice uh, beach bar there, Viking bar. Well, I'm already seeing signs that this is uh, a place where lots of British tourists like to come. We have the baked potato. Wow, <laughs> it's completely dead. Everything closed. Well, even when it's closed, you can see what kind of place this is. Over here, we have funny hats for sale, or everything on a t-shirt. Get your own t-shirts printed. We have henna tattoo over here, fast food place that's selling baked potatoes for the British. What the hell?
hair buried in here. Jeez. Oh, this is a far cry from the Bulgaria that I've been travelling around for the past four weeks, I can tell you that. Virtual reality. Good God. Buy three, get one free in English. It's quite funny because nothing is in acrylic here. Everything's in English. A funny pub. What we got there? Ribs, fish, pasta. Can't really see any Bulgarian food. My God, even Burger King's closed. I'll be honest with you, walking up Flower Street, this place looks like absolute hell on earth. I can imagine when this place is busy, that it's basically, it's Benidorm. It's just, this is not Bulgaria. <laughs> this is a place for British people to come and drink cheap watered down lager and bake in the sun. And if you want confirmation of that, this is just the most ridiculous thing I've seen. Are you ready for this? We have the Brexit restaurant. Can you believe it? I have actually seen this on social media before. I didn't know it was here. Bloody hell. It's quite fitting actually, because it says over there, we never close. And it's closed. <laughs> to be fair, so is everywhere else in this place. Right. What do you think about Brexit, eh? What do you think about it? There you go. A lot of shite, isn't it? You like that, don't you? Hey! <laughs> How playful you are. Oh, but you've had no attention in months, have you? Yeah? No attention in months. Well, moving on from Brexit. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a bit too harsh on the Sunny Beach. Maybe this is just the main street and once we get onto the side streets we might find some hidden global treats who knows I'm not confident of that to be honest well mcdonald's is closed so there goes uh, any chance of me getting something to eat up here well i'm struggling to find anywhere for food. There's just nothing open at all, but looks like Janet is going to come to the rescue once again. Janet to the rescue again. I think that's chicken and some uh, potatoes. That'll do me for lunch. Don't think I'm going to bother exploring any more of Sunny Beach. I think I've seen enough to give me an idea as to what it's about. I don't think I'm likely to come across some brutal building or any Soviet monument or any World War II historical sites or any kind of culture at all. It's just going to be fast food and bars appealing to tourists. Oh, we've got a bit of culture here, look. Okay, maybe I'm being a little bit harsh on Sunny Beach. The place is obviously closed down for the winter. And uh, I imagine if, you know, you're a family or, you know, you just want to get away somewhere nice and hot where there's plenty of bars and plenty of restaurants, then this will tick them boxes. It's, it's not my kind of place, but that's not to say that people can't have a good time here. I'm sure you can have a bloody great time here in, in Sunny Beach. <laughs> it's just, oh dear. Literally got like the whole of Sunny Beach to myself. <laughs> it's crazy. 
now according to Google Maps this place opens at three it's now about quarter past three and as you can see there's no way this is opening definitely closed for the season I, I think it was closed last year as well for the whole of the year oh we actually have some acrylic Oh, it's a uh, jacket potato again. Jacket potato with one garnish, five lev. Two garnishes, six lev. All garnishes, eight lev. Not oh, bad actually. Jacket potato, cheese and beans. What the hell? I would have come for that. Some of the places where you can go from Sunny Beach excursions. Sozapol. Now that is a place that I do actually intend to visit. Blue Mountain I've not heard of. Vaughan I've just come from. My hostel was bang opposite there. Bulgarian village. I bet that's not an authentic Bulgarian village. That will be created for tourists. Khan's tent I've not heard of. Istanbul is... Um, well, I should be there within the next week. And the Rila Monastery. That's going to be quite a trek to get there from here, to be honest. I went there from Sofia and it was a two hours uh, journey from there. So I bet it's about ten hours from here, about eight hours or something. Oh, that's nice. Now, if all of a sudden the beach looked like this, I'd actually quite enjoy it. Bloody hell, that's the smallest McDonald's I've ever seen. Not content with having a monopoly on all the big supermarkets in the area, it appears that Janet is branching out and now does manicures, pedicures, massages, hairdressers, cosmetics and hot wax. Who is this Janet? And why does she own half of Sunny Beach? Well, this looks interesting. Breakfast menu. English breakfast. Egg, bacon and beans on toast. Egg and beans on toast. Hawaii toast. Do you get chips with everything? Or are they, are they just for decoration? Heinz beans on toast. I mean, we are right in the heart of Bulgarian culture here. Eggs and bacon. Chip butter. Oh man, do you know what? I'm starting to love Sunny Beach. I take it all back. I think uh, Sunny Beach would actually be a fun place to visit during the season. There's tons and tons of bars, loads of restaurants. And if you want an English breakfast or a chip butter, it's even got that. Baked potatoes in every kebab shop. Don't come here expecting culture or history. But don't come here being a travel snob either. If you can't have a good time in Sunny Beach or Benidorm or places like that, then maybe you're the problem. Have you thought about that? <laughs> Quality content as usual from the Global Treats channel. I don't know when Sunny Beach was built as a resort. I mean, a lot of the hotels are very modern. There are a few that look uh, a bit older but I don't think it's really got any history it's just a, a resort that's been built up for tourism but having said that this what I'm looking at now is one of the greatest examples of brutalism I've seen this is incredible and what I love about this is if you've booked a room in this nice fancy posh hotel and you've got one of these rooms here and you look out your balcony you don't see the beach. You see this? Oh, look at that. What an absolute beauty. I mean, what the hell is this doing here? <laughs> it's a cracker. Oh, it's bloody locked up. Nice, new, modern hotel. Horrible, old, brutal building. They're my favourite ones. The ones that 
just shouldn't be there. The ones that are completely out of place. I've been to many cities where it's just filled with these Soviet era brutal architecture. But the ones like that, where they're surrounded either by uh, beautiful old towns or modern hotels, they just stand out, they really stick out. That was a cracker, I wasn't expecting that. And that's it for my exploration of Sunny Beach in February. It's been an interesting afternoon, to be fair. Um, I don't think I'll be coming here again. It's not my kind of place, but I'm sure during the summer it's lively and all the bars are open, the restaurants are open, and if it's busy enough, I'm sure you could have a great time. So I might have been a bit critical towards Sunny Beach. The Brexit bar didn't help things. Um, but I'm glad to say I've done some research and it's now permanently closed. <laughs> which in a way is a shame because it looked like they did some decent food. And now it's the walk back to Nessabar, which is about half an hour away. And I did spot yesterday next to the Janet supermarket, there's, an, there's a bar that's actually open. And it's got a roof terrace as well. It's only a small place, maybe like two stories high. The sun's out, so I might go and grab a beer, sit with the locals and enjoy the rest of the daylight. Ta-ta! Yes.